Hey, you guys, happy Saturday. How are you guys doing on today? Well, it's Saturday, but I'm sure by the time y'all see this video, it won't be Saturday. But I just came on here because um, it's Saturday. This is the first Saturday in a long time. It's actually late Saturday evening, but um, it's been a long time since we had a Saturday where I have nowhere to go and nothing to do. I mean, I had stuff around the house to do, but I'm talking about um, I have no, like, nothing planned where we got to go somewhere. So this is like the first Saturday out of the last three Saturdays that we've been on the go. And so I, I have spent most of the day cleaning up, tidying up, um, doing things around the house and everything. And now I'm tired. My husband decided to go fishing with his friends. Uh, I meant, well, with his family. One of his friends and the rest of um, family or whatever. So they should be probably on the way home, I'm sure. Because uh, they've been gone for a minute. Um, but I came on here because I realized that the first day of spring is quickly approaching. And it is time to do a spring refresh. So for me, um, I it's time to spruce it up for spring you know prepare the house to spruce it up for spring i don't want to you know what i'm saying it's time to prepare the house to spruce it up for spring so that means that some deep cleaning gonna have to take place with the windows and all that stuff the only thing about deep cleaning in the springtime around this time of year is that the pollen come in and take over and you got to do it again so this year instead of me double working myself i may just wait until the pollen is all completely over before I do my windows, okay? Because ain't nobody got time for that, double working. I don't, I don't wanna do that. Y'all do it how y'all do it. I don't know, this is how I do it. Um, But it's story time. I decided to, <sighs> okay, so first of all, let me say this. One of the things that I do wanna do, me and my husband have been talking about is changing out my furniture. If y'all see this black furniture behind me, Initially, I had light gray furniture and um, it got messed up and it wasn't nothing that we did. It was like it was the same type of material, um, but it was peeling real, real, real bad and it looked a mess. And so I called the furniture company and they was like, basically, they'll come and pick it up, bring it back in and we'll just replace it. Well, they came and picked it up and everything. Didn't realize when we went to the store to get you know for, for them to um tell well i can't remember how it happened all i can remember is that once they picked it up and took it back to the store they called me and was like uh this been discontinued so we had to come up with um not come up with but get some more furniture different furniture because they had discontinued the color I did not want black but it was like the only i, I still wanted that same material at the time but I just did not want black, but I didn't see anything else that I really liked. And we ended up getting this. We've had it for some years now and I'm like ready to change out. So that's one of the things that me and my husband have been talking about is getting some new furniture. Later on down the line, as you see on each side of my fireplace, I would want to put some built in shelves on the end. My living room space is extremely, extremely small. And so therefore it's not really much I can do. My furniture has always been in the same place. I I dislike that because I'm one who like change, like to, well, I'm, it depends on what the change is about. Uh, but I'm one who like to change up furniture. Let's just say that, you know, we all can be like resistance to change y'all. That's just how it is. But when it comes to furniture and decoration and home decor, I love to change my stuff up. And so, but I like to get my money's worth though. But we gonna hold on to it for a long time. I'm not one of those home decor people that you see constantly changing out that I just know. Mm -mm, I don't have time for it. Number one. Number two, I need to get my money's worth because that's just how I feel about the situation, right? And it doesn't mean that I can't get my money's worth because you can keep it and put it in storage. But I got a lot of stuff in storage already. And I don't want to keep adding and adding and adding. My husband do not like clutter. I don't either. But he have already told us when we pulled out the Christmas stuff, he already told us, made it very clear, told me, made it very clear that when the weather break and get nice, we're going to go out there and declutter that storage. And if it's anything in here that we don't use 
and we ain't use it and probably don't plan on using, we're going to get rid of it. We're not going to just keep it. Now, if it's something that's sentimental, that's a given. But um, uh, and it, I don't think I do got. I think I do got some things that's there in storage that's sentimental that you know. But outside of that, it got to go. So, um, but yeah, this story time. So, initially, me and my husband, um, we met um, in January 2000. We ended up getting married November 2000, same year. Got married same year. Here we are, 23 years later. But um, anyway, um, we got our first house built um, in our 20s, our early 20s, right after we, shortly after we got married, the following year, actually, right after we got married, we got our house built in 2020, I mean, 2021, 2001. I, we got our house built and we moved in this house and my daughter, I was pregnant, y'all. My, my daughter was born four days after we moved in this new house. So my daughter is 23 now, 22. We have been in this house for 22 years, going on 23. We have been in this house for 22 years. So initially it's a starter home. It was three bedrooms, two baths. Um, the area you see behind me was supposed to be just like a, a small living room area, but that room that I have turned into my dining room was supposed to be a family room and we turned it into a dining room. Um, because we wasn't, we really wasn't using it as a family room. We would just sit in here. But I realized over the years that this small space never allowed me to change up the furniture, change it up. It just, it's not enough space in there. <clears throat> so we talked about moving. And also my master bedroom, I know they don't call it that anymore, but my master bedroom initially was extremely small um, as well and as well as the ensuite bathroom. And I used to always tell my husband, like, I want a dream home, but I want a nice size master suite bedroom. So we talked about moving for years. And I'm talking about we done changed up our, where we were gonna move to over a lot of times. And so what ended up happening was, um, we ended up putting a lot of work in this house too over the years. So when we first got our house built, we were the first ones on this on this road. I live in a cul-de-sac in the country. I live 20, I live approximately 15 minutes from in town, but from like all the restaurants, malls, shopping and all that, I live about 20 to 25 minutes, right? And so with that being said, it's quite a ride. You can't, if you go to the grocery store, you better get everything on your list. Because once you forget, that's it. You, you ain't finna go way back and it's just, it's too long, too long of a ride. Um, and so over the years, you know, even though we always talked about moving, we began to do different changes with the house and everything. We pulled up the carpet. We put down real hardwood floors. We had them for a very long time and we ended up getting some water damage and the house was flooded. The front part of the house was flooded. My foyer area, my living room area, my dining area, and a little bit of my kitchen area ended up getting flooded. So we had to take up those real wood hardwood floors that my husband and my cousin, they put them in and we had to pull. I did not want to pull up no hardwood floors because they was the real deal. Pulled them up and ended up putting laminate down as well as tile in my kitchen. Um, my husband, I, like I told you, very, he's very handy. He's done trim work around my house. Like if you can look in the background and you see like the bottom part, it's a, a trim and then the crown mold railing chair railing whatever you want to call all that stuff my husband um crown molding around the ceiling my husband um but i think my cousin did the trimming here at first and then my husband picked it up just like that and he did the rest of the house um we ended up this is our second kitchen renovation since we've been here where we've torn out the um the backsplash and put in new backsplash my cabinets have been painted several times we have been in this house 22 years so here's a lot has happened um, we, like I said, my living room was initially a family room and because we didn't use it like that, we should have because that would have gave me the space to change up everything I needed. It seemed like we just did not use that as a, we didn't, we didn't use it. So we ended up changing it into a dining room area. Um, later on down the line, I kind of was like, we shouldn't have did that. We should have left it as a living room area. I don't know. And just made this. I, I wish I, I honestly, I wish I would have made this the dining room area and made that the living room, the family room area. But hey, it's done now. Um, then we ended up, we had a back patio 
and we could never sit out there because the sun would beam down on it 24 7 so we never really could enjoy it you know do cookouts and stuff like that because the sun it seemed like when the sun came up it would beam down on it all day in the summertime i'm like we don't never get a chance to get out here because it's too hot well we ended up screening in and putting a roof on our back porch then some years down the line my husband decides that um he wants to get a shop so he ended up putting a shop in the backyard like I said, he's kind of like a jack of all trades type of husband. He do, you know, and he and the stuff he's learned over the years, he learned it on his own by watching people as well as YouTube. But I do have my cousin that did the trim. He did watch a lot of him do a lot of the work that he had done. So he learned from him as well as watching YouTube, learning other stuff or whatever. After that, um, we decided one day that my husband was like, because like I said, we talked about moving. It was like, okay, when my oldest daughter graduated from high school, we're going to move. Didn't happen. When my youngest daughter graduated from high school, we're going to move. Didn't happen. Then my son, who was still in high school, we was like, you know what? We didn't say that too many times. And I was like, but I want my dream house. He was like, well, let's just make the best of this house. Make it into our dream house. So therefore... It no longer became a starter house. It became a permanent house. And we just did a whole lot of work to make it into our own. With that being said, we added on an additional master suite to get the master bedroom that I wanted. So we did that. And, um, and then my old master suite became a guest room. So now we have four bedrooms. Um, however, and that room is the room that my daughter and her husband so it worked out so now when they come home because they like they live an hour and some change from us now when they come home to spend a night they have a room that they can sleep in because my other two children are still here <laughs> even though my youngest daughter is grown she's she's trying to figure it out i think she's about to go into the military honestly and so y'all know when i start talking i got my water on hand And I'm sorry y'all hear my wash and dryer. Saturday I told y'all I've been cleaning, doing laundry and everything. So anyway, um, yeah, we decided that we would make the best of it. Um, reasons why I wanted to move. Because again, initially this was just supposed to be a starter home. And I wanted to move because I didn't feel like this was our dream home. It wasn't really like it. I like it like I wanted it to be. <clears throat> so well, that's why, why a lot of the changes took place over the years. But then um, I also wanted to move because we live in a small town. It's not much to do. It's not a bad town, but it's just a small town. And it seems like if you want to get away to or you want to go out just to have fun, family fun or date night fun, or for that matter, the kids to have fun, it's really not much to do here at all. You know what I'm saying? Besides, out, we do have a bowling alley. Um, we used to have a skating ring. I don't think we have a skating ring no more. We might have a skating ring, but um yeah it's it's that's about it we it's nothing we have a movie theater outside of that it's nothing really else to do um and so i wanted to live in a, um, a place that I had more variety for us as a family things to do that was really another reason why i wanted to move um and i know i say um a lot but that's because i'm trying to gather my thoughts y'all and then, so that was why I wanted to move, get my dream house and be closer to, you know, something that's more functional for our family and not live so doggone far from the city. And I said, doggone, that's right. I said, doggone far, because that's how I feel every time I have to drive 20, 25 minutes just to go in the town, whether I'm going to the grocery store, whether I'm doing whatever. The kicker is I have a lot of family here on my dad's side of the family and most I ain't gonna say most, but it's quite a few of my family members that actually live out this way as well <laughs> in the country, not too far from me. And so that is a plus. I do have family members that live close by, but now my parents, they live all the way in town. I wish that we would have thought to get, and they live in the country kind of almost, but not really. If they live in the outer city limits, let's say that. So they don't live in the country, but they live in the outer city limits. But their outer city limits that they live in is a five minute ride to go to everything that they need to get to. Five minutes. That's what I wish we would have did. Because this 20, 25 minutes, that's that's a whole nother ball game. Um, now, 
we decided that we would make this um, our dream home. And that's how we ended up adding on and doing all the other things. Where, well, we did the other things along the way. But initially, when we decided to do the add on, that's when we was like, OK, we're going to add on. We stay in. It's like, OK, boom. That's what it was. Um, But then, well, nothing else happened. I'm going to say, but then what? I just lost my train of thought. Y'all hold on a second. I was about to say something. Um, oh, that's what I was about to say. Another reason, now my husband kind of always, he wanted to move, but he was kind of more like not really, if that makes sense. Um, it's several reasons why my husband really didn't want to move. I think he was just agreeing to it because I wanted to do so. The first reason is, they're in no particular order. The first reason is because um, his family, his family is already um, an hour away. My husband is not from the same town that I'm from. Um, and so his family is already 45 minutes to an hour away. So that was one of the reasons why he didn't want to move anywhere else because then it's going to put him even further from his family. And he's, a, he's big on family. The second reason is because he love our neighbors and he talk about how good now I love our neighbors too. It's not to say, I said that not to say that I don't. But my husband, um, our neighbors, we have the best neighbors. I will say that we are kind of like family. Um, we live on in a country on a um, dead end road with a cul-de-sac. Um, and we was the first house out here. And the funny story is, I don't even know if they know this, but when they start building the other houses on this street, me and my husband would go into the house and look around and see during the building process, we would go in the houses and even before they got almost completely done, you know, they don't really lock the door until they're completely done. But we would go in the house and look at how they would build the house and how different it was and get ideas and stuff like that. Um, really, we didn't get no ideas at the time. That's that's a story. We would just look at the house and see how different it was made from ours. Um, but... Then they moved and we went once they moved in, we, we got we got to know our neighbors pretty quickly. The ones on both sides, both sides of us, we got to know them fairly quickly. And I, we became really good friends because we all happen to be around the same age. So go figure. Now, they both are older, both on the left and right. Um, neighbors are older than me and my husband. But they, um, they're not that much older than us. But they are older than us. Um, and so, then the neighbors across the street, which one neighbor ended up moving. Um, I don't, we didn't really get that close to him. He was okay. He was a single guy. And so, um, he was a single guy. You need to come up here. I'm recording. Hello. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's my son again. Um, I was, I'm like, what you got on? Because it looked like he had on some, I don't know. But he fine. Um, anyway, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So our neighbors, one of the neighbors that lived directly across the street from us, uh, he was a single guy. We got to know him a little bit. And then eventually he moved. And then um, another neighbor moved in, which is an older lady. And um, we got to know her or whatever. But um, and then it's some more neighbors down the street. Now, one of my neighbors that just recently moved all the way is two neighbors down there. We know of one of the neighbors that live on the other side of my neighbor. We know of them, but we don't know them like that. And then on the last at the very end of the culture sack, I don't think I know them at all. We don't know them at all. But the one across the street that's right before you get to the culture sack on the opposite side of the street, we know of them. But the ones that's like right next door on either side and then one house across the street right there, like we're family. So basically it's three houses in this neighborhood that we are literally family. Like our kids grew up together. We would keep each other kids. We would, you know, anytime we had an event at the house, we would invite them over. And they would invite us or whatever. Well, they really didn't have, well, that neighbor had events. We hosted events, they hosted events. So they would come over or whatever. My other two neighbors, they didn't really host like that. But, um... We didn't meet our other neighbor until a little bit later on down the line. Um, and then they became our pastor. <laughs> my neighbors across the street are our pastor. So, yeah, my pastor is my neighbor now. 
um, him and his wife. And so um, I said all that to say that that was another reason why my husband didn't want to move too, because he was like, what if we go to a neighborhood and we like, we got the best neighbors. Like I said, we've been, and they've been in our neighborhood almost as long as we have. Um, they're probably pushing, if we've been 22, they probably pushing 19, close to 20. Cause they came, I think the ones on either side of us came like maybe a year later or so. And then the ones across the street, maybe a couple years later or whatever. But yeah, we're family. My neighbors, a couple of my neighbors are actually family. Um, like I said, our kids all grew up together and everything. And so, and we, oh, not only we keep each other kids, we go on, we used to go on vacation. Life is so busy right now, but we used to go on vacations together. We used to go on a lot of vacations together too with our neighbors. So that's how close we are to my neighbors. And so that was one of the main reasons why my husband did not want to move. Plus, at to this very day, my pastor and my neighbor on this side of him are, they like this. They almost like best friends. Um, and so... Um, you know, he was just one, he took that into consideration. He was like, what if we move and da, 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 da. And I'm like, well, I mean, we can't just hold off because, you know, you scared to get neighbors that ain't going, you know, that ain't going to be no neighbors that we can talk to. But hey, and out of our neighbors, the one on the left side talked about moving. And then the one on the right side also talked about moving. But the one on the right side is like our position, like the wife wants to move, but the husband doesn't. And that's kind of like how it is in this house. I want to move, husband doesn't. And so what do you do? Right. But <clears throat> and I think her reasons was pretty much the same, too, because like it's weird. We live so far out. Like when you first move, you're just excited. Oh, my gosh, we got a house, you know, whatever, whatever. But then as time go on, it drive, it drive. Be, and I know maybe 20, 25 minutes may not be a lot to a lot of y'all, but it's 20, 25 minutes of trees just about. Well, I take it back. It's about 15 minutes of trees because, like I said, it's a 15 minutes to the city limit, to the city limit. Once we, once you get into town, you're in, you're in the city limits or whatever. It's just that you're kind of like downtown area or whatever. It's really not much going on down there. There's a few restaurants or whatever, but mostly the shopping and everything is a little bit, you know, five more minutes out, right? And so that is the story behind this house. My husband was like, we'll just make this into our dream home um, and everything. And it's still some stuff we want to do. Like I told y'all, my back porch is screened in for the last four or five years I've actually been wanting to tear this wall down and just extend my living room to make it be bigger um because like I told y'all my living room area is really really small and um you know my family is growing my daughter my oldest daughter has two kids and one on the way so now uh, they're about to be a family of five and then you know who's to say my 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 youngest daughter you know, she doesn't, she's not in a relationship or anything and doesn't have any kids or anything like that, but she will one day, hopefully, prayerfully, same thing with my son. My son is about, he's coming up on his last year of school. He's in the 11th grade right now. And I know he want to get married because he was talking about him, him having a wife when he was a little kid. <laughs> he used to say, I was like, well, me and my wife and me and my wife, when I get big, he used to say stuff like that when he was little. So, you know, I know that he wants to get married too as well and have kids. So my family is growing and like how, how it is with me and my sister who has two kids of her own and a husband. When we go to my parents' house, my parents have done, it's like, it's kind of like I've followed in the model of my same, of the same model of my parents now that I think about it, because my parents, um, they got a house and they have extended on their house a lot. And their house is big now. And that rooms that they've extended on is big enough for all of us to sit in and just have a good time and stuff when we go over there like the space is huge her the space where we look at tv and stuff it's a huge sunroom um and so um they're they more so extended she still got three bedrooms but they more so extended the space with the living space as far as like having a big space where they can have company and have entertainment because my parents always have loved to entertain and so they have it to wear like that. And so when we have like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Labor Day and whatever other holiday, Easter and stuff like that, 
all of us pile up over there and we have the room and we're not on top of each other and everybody can sit comfortably and that's how I want it to be here and that's really the main purpose behind us me because my husband don't want to do it me wanting to take this wall down and extend out my living room now what he do want to do is turn my garage our garage into a movie theater <laughs> I'm not against it, but if that's what he want to do, that's what he want to do. But I think this is more important because this would extend the living space. So when my daughter and her two kids about to be three kids soon come down, like when we all sit in here in the living room, honestly, when my daughter and her husband and two kids come down and my kids are up here, when we sit in here, all of us can't even sit in my living room area. Like me and my husband, we'll sit back here at the bar stool at the countertop and they'll sit in there. My kids are sitting there and they'll talk and the kids will play, but it's not even room for all of us. We all, we can sit, but we're going to be tight. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to have to sit here at this bar stool. And I, I just, I, I don't like that, right? I want everybody to sit and be comfortable and let the space be open. I'm about to have three, I'm about to be having three grandkids soon. And I want the space to be big enough for them to play when they come down here, when they can't go outside and go outside during the summer, but not during the winter. Um, and so I want them to have the space to be able to play. So that's my dreams and goals for this house since my husband don't want to move. I guess we won't be moving and, you know. But that's the backstory on this house. Although initially I just want to talk about refreshing for the spring. Um, I just wanted to give y'all, um, let's share, you know, what, what has taken place in our home over the years. My youngest daughter is like, if y'all please don't move, if y'all ever move, I'll be so sad. Because if you think about it, this is all they know. This is the only house they ever lived in, except for my oldest daughter. She was in an apartment when we first, um, before we got this house. So <clears throat> this is all that my kids know. My other two kids know. They've never lived anywhere else. Um, and so they, she, my youngest daughter was like, she would be so sad. I wouldn't be. I think we had, we can carry the memories in our heart, but, um, I, I would love to live closer to you know town i just don't if we like i said me and my husband ever do decide to move i just don't want it to be in this town nothing against this town it's just that it just i want to be in a space where we can be closer and that, you know and who's to say our town is coming up it is building it's still building and stuff so you know maybe you know they'll build something for things for the kids to do or whatever but um we are getting older so i i get it but um that's the backstory on this house. I know y'all didn't ask for it, uh, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but when you when you get to this age, I think, like I said, you begin to think about when you have grandkids. You know what I'm saying? And that's how my thought process is now. You know, when we we become an empty nest, empty nest home, meaning that won't nobody live here but being my husband. That's fine. But I just want to be able to have space. Like, I don't want my kids to have to come home and have to get a hotel room, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I want them all to be able to stay here. And I want us to be able to sit and be comfortable in our home when we do. Because, again, if my oldest daughter got three kids already, ain't no telling how many kids my youngest daughter and my young, you know, and my son are, you know, going to have when they have when they get their families in the future. Um, and so, and that's, like I said, my family is growing. So I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And, um, there's just some ideas that I would like to do in our home. Um, if we decide not to move, so we shall see. But anyway, you guys, I probably bored y'all with the story about my home. I guess I probably should have took y'all on a tour to show y'all the changes that we made, but, um, maybe I'll do that one day. It won't be today. This video long enough. So outside of that, well, I probably can't do my kids wrong because they don't they don't do right. It had to be when they um when I yeah. Even even if you tell them clean up, clean up, they clean ain't my clean. And I'd be like, this is what you call clean. That's another story. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you know. 
you think about and reflect on what you're going to do for the spring. And, you know, if you in the, are you in your forever home? Uh, have you ever, you know, what, what's the deal? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you in a starter home or have you have you been in a starter home and have already moved to your forever home? Like share your stories with me. I'd be much interested in seeing how, you know, I'm a middle aged woman now how we transition in different stages and phases of our lives to, you know, to where you are now and how God, how God has blessed us over the years to be able to do the things that we have been able to do with our home over the years and everything. So anyway, you guys, I'm very thankful and grateful and blessed. And outside of that, into the next video, you guys be blessed.